Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Funk dog exclusive. Hey, baby. Hey, hey baby. Hey, baby. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Jones. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are new, welcome, 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 welcome. And guess what? You should go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can put a notification, gang, gang. And if you're one of my old time subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back and loving on you, girl. Okay, so as you can tell by the title for this video, I'm going to be doing a deep condition and answering some of you guys' assumptions about your girl. So my hair is washed. I washed it. Um, I co-washed it. I detangled it. And <laughs> as I was setting up my equipment, my hair dried. So I'm definitely going to go and have to re-wet my hair because I don't want to try to part it. No. I don't have time. That's gonna probably take forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-wet my hair. I mean, it's still damp, but child, baby, okay? She's thick, she's thick. So I'm gonna go um, re-wet my hair and I'll be right back. All right, so your girl is back. I'm back, I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and whew, section my hair before it dries again. I do have my spray bottle in case my hair decides it wants to dry again. Oh, so for my deep condition, I'm gonna be using this um, Camille Rose. This is her girl. I don't know Nanji and Tsubaki Strength and Restore Protein Treatment. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and section all this off. And I'm gonna be back because I'm over here struggling with all this hair. It seems as though my hair is starting to get a little thicker. I don't know what's going on. But honey, she do what she wanna do. Whew, child, I feel like I'm drowning. I got water running everywhere. Alright, so before I get my hands dirty, let me go ahead and open up my phone. I'm going to my Instagram. Alright, let me get set up and prepared. This is my first time using this um, protein treatment. Hmm. I don't know what it smells like. I've never smelled this scent before. I mean, it smells good. And I really need a protein treatment. I bought this at the Natural Hair um, Hair Show in Atlanta this past... It's been like two weekends ago. And Camille Rose was like, she had like a really big sale where everything was like $5 or like $10. It depends on which item it was. But I, I haven't done a protein treatment in a while. So I was like, I definitely need that. All right, so the first assumption is, I'm gonna be looking down, obviously looking at my phone. So the first, the first assumption says, you don't take no shit. I mean, <laughs> it depends. Honestly, I don't, it really depends. I don't know, I feel like you just can't, you, I don't know. You shouldn't be popping off to everybody. And, and at the same time, I feel like there's a time and a place for everything. And I feel like my wife would pop off for me, so I don't have to. If that makes sense. But like, for example, if someone writes a really mean comment on my Instagram or like on my YouTube, I won't say anything negative back to them. I would just delete it. You don't deserve my time or my energy, even though I want to say something back. But my wife be like, babe, you don't need to get um, that satisfaction. Oh, it made me so mad. Like the real, oh my god. Like I don't know. I feel like YouTube is my business, so I have to be professional at times. So I'm gonna treat it as if I'm being professional because if it was like an actual building or actual company, even though I am my own company, I don't know. I, feel, I wouldn't be sassy toward a customer. I'm not gonna be rude and say something like, "Oh, B, you should have did this. You da 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 da. da. Who you think you talking to? Da da da." No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. 
But sometimes I might have time. I mean, so I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna do something when, you know, I don't know what the future may hold. Because I might have the time that day and I might have to get somebody together because sometimes people think they can just say whatever they want to say. And I can't let everything get away. I'm sorry. I can't let everything slip. I can't. Not, ooh. Okay, come through. Made my hair really, really, really soft instantly. Alright, so the next assumption says what the hell? The next assumption says that you're straight. You know that I'm not straight. You know I have a whole entire wife. Like, I know. I probably had about three boyfriends and I was like in junior high school. No. Definitely not straight. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't. I don't really post a lot about my personal life as far as like on social media. Even though I did do a video with my wife, I did her hair. So now, if you, so obviously you don't watch my YouTube videos, and I do post her on my story. So why would you say that? That don't make any sense. Sometimes y'all just be talking and just to be talking. All right. So next question says. Well, next assumption that you are very picky. Um, uh, I am, and it depends on what it is. For example, if it's food, uh, I don't just eat anything. No, sorry, I had to beat my son real quick. As usual, y'all, I want to show out if I get on camera. But what was I on? Um, but I'm picky. So, like I said, it depends on what it is. As far as food, I'm very picky. Like. I don't like tomatoes, but I eat ketchup. And I love pickle de gallo. But I hate raw tomatoes, like, it's just pure raw tomatoes, like nothing on them, like, mm, mm I hate them, like, ugh, I hate tomatoes. And I'm very picky as far as when it comes to what hotel I'm staying at. I don't know, is that picky? What's picky? <laughs> I like what I like. So, I don't know if I would consider me a picky person. I don't know. I should have did this video with my wife so she can be like, girl, you lying, you picky. <laughs> All right, next. Um, wait, that you don't like pineapples on your pizza. I love pineapples on my pizza. I feel like pineapples, pineapples are supposed to go on pizza. Pineapples, ham, all that. I love it on my pizza. I don't know. If you don't like pineapples on your pizza, I can't trust you. Something wrong with you. Like, pineapples on a pizza is so good. So good. I always, every time I order my pizza from Papa John's, Papa John's period, I know they had the whole situation with the NFL, and I did boycott them, and I haven't eaten there in a really, really long time. But anyway, normally when I order my pizza, it's from Papa John's. I do not like pizza. I do not like dumb nose. It's just, ugh. ugh. I don't know. But every time I order my pizza from them, it's definitely, definitely gonna be nine times out of ten, either pepperoni and pineapple or pepperoni with like chicken, like the Hawaiian pizza that they got. So good. So good, so good, so good. Um, The next assumption is that you're outgoing. Now, I just had this conversation with my wife not so long ago. I ride for people too freaking hard. I do. When it comes to my family and my friends, I do for them more than I would do for myself. Like, yeah, if that makes sense. Is that, does that mean outgoing? Like, I go, I'm out going for my people. I ride for my people. I'm out going. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. See, there's too many ways to interpret this stuff. All right. Next assumption is that I smoke weed. What? No, ma'am. I probably smoked three times in my life. Can I say this? Am I going to go to jail? Are they going to arrest me? I smoked it in California, so. Period. <laughs> But 
I don't I don't like the way it made me feel. It just like it makes me feel like I'm a this really big rock. Oh, okay, not. I don't know. I feel like I can't move. I feel so heavy, and I really I don't like feeling like that. And I just be like moving in slow motion. I don't know. So so I have in the past, but do I just smoke like every day type of thing? No, that's not me. I ain't no pothead. What's next? All right, next assumption is that you are goofy, playful, and funny. Uh, I think I'm funny. I think I'm funny. I think my jokes are funny, but people don't people say if you laugh at your own jokes, I'm wrong with you. Well, <laughs> I definitely laugh at my own jokes. I think I'm funny. I am goofy to an extent. It depends on who I'm with. You can't show everybody your all sides of you. Because some people don't know how to handle you. Everybody don't know how to handle you. But I am playful. I am goofy. Don't let me have a drink or two. I'm really goofy then. <laughs> I have no sense. Give me a little look in my system. No sense whatsoever. 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 Guys, I really... <laughs> been sleep like okay so y'all know i only normally deep condition with my my l my baba basu deep conditioning but i don't know why i ain't gonna lie sis this my top that like it, i never have this much slip with that deep conditioner but i ain't gonna flex this might this might be beating them out i had to call up come in Hey Camille, hey girl. Ooh, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Come through slip. Yes ma'am. This is supposed to be about <laughs> my assumptions, not about my hair. I'm making this video about my hair, but I'm sorry. Like, yeah, see I keep rubbing this thing up. Ooh, okay, let me move to another section. Cause we gonna be here all day long if I don't keep moving. Um, next assumption that you are mixed, that I'm mixed, mixed as in my mama something, my daddy something. I mean, all my life I grew up, oh shit, oh shit. I mean, mixed, what's mixed? <laughs> so, my parents, all, all I've ever known was that my parents were black. And you know, they be like, oh girl, you Cherokee. We got some Cherokee in our family. <laughs> you know, all black and the same. But, uh, so, I'm black. I'm black, black girl, I'm black. I ain't mixed with nothing. But I did do my ancestry, my twin three and me, and apparently, <laughs> apparently, your girl is, I believe it was 82%. Um, Sub-Saharan African, which is like really broad. And girl, I had like 2% Native American mean. And I had like, I don't know, I gotta put my results. Wow, what you doing? And I had like 12%, 20%, something like that. I don't know, I forgot what it said of um, European. But maybe I'm black. I am African American. That's what I am. But people used to ask me that all the time when I was little. Like, are you mixed? Or like, even. Girl, people so annoying. Like, this one, like, asked me when. It's been a, it's been a while, but she asked me, talking about some. Am I mixed with Korean and black? I don't even look blazing. I don't look blazing. Comment down below if y'all ever thought I was mixed. Let me know. Cause that's crazy. No. Alright, so the next assumption say 
that you are bougie. Bougie? What? Bougie. So, I don't know if you guys can tell or not or know this. Obviously not since it's an assumption. But, I am very bougie. I can't just... Okay, so, I don't know. I'm really, really... I'm not going to say... I'm a type of person, I'm bougie on a budget. If that makes sense. Like, I don't always have to have my nails done. I don't need to be wearing on Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton, whatever them shit called. But when it comes to certain things, like I was saying earlier about as far as being picky, I can't just sleep anywhere in a, any whole any old hotel. It has to be four star better. I had I'm gonna read all the reviews. I'm gonna read them all. I can't just be sleeping anywhere. Um, and, bougie. Oh my god, I wish Bria was here like so bad because she called me bougie all the time. But I don't, personally, I don't think that I'm bougie. I don't. I think I'm a little bougie ghetto, if anything. Like, as far as, it's just certain things that I don't play about. But I'm not uptight. I'm not, I don't think anybody's less than me. I don't think... You know, I don't look at look down on people. I'm not stuck up. Baby, I'm like the nicest person you would ever meet in life. Ever. I am so sweet. Like, it's insane how sweet I am. So, bougie as far as picky. As far as I'm not just going to settle for no old, any old type of... No, nope, I can't do it. I won't do it. I won't. Like when I was in the army and I didn't have a choice where I laid my head and I, you know, I had to lay there. Then I wasn't bougie and I think that was something that came from that. Like now I'm like, no ma'am, I can't sleep anywhere. I can't, mm -mm. so yeah, that's probably, that, that could be where I got that from like, you know, being in the army is not easy. It's, it's not jokes. This is not a drill. It's not. So, you, you better... All that bougie is going to go out the window, sis. You are shy around new people. I'm very shy around new people. Very awkward around new people. Like, for example, so... Yeah, I don't know if you guys know her or not, but you should, because you should be subscribed to her channel. But her name is Kimberly Sherelle here on um, YouTube World, in YouTube land. <laughs> her name is Kimberly Sherelle or whatever. So, y'all, we've been like friends on like social media for like, oh, I want to say four or five, six months maybe. Like, you know, we talk consistently on our platforms to one another. And just recently, I just met her in person for the first time at the Atlanta Hair Show. Y'all, <laughs> I'm so weird and so awkward. Like, I think I said to her, like, why are you so tall? <laughs> Who says that to people? Like, what? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I don't know. I'm like, hey girl, why are you so tall? Like, I'm so, oh my God. I'm so shy in person. It's insane. Like, I, uh, it's easy to talk to you guys like right now because, I mean, I'm talking to myself basically. <laughs> but y'all, I'm so weird in person. So if y'all ever see me, just, just be like, hey girl, uh, I'll follow you or da, 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 da. But don't just come up to me screaming. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Because, girl, I might start running from you. I'm not going to lie. I'm a really shy person. So, And if you start screaming, then I'm going to start screaming. And uh, -uh it's just going to be too much going on. So, yeah, that is a correct assumption. I am very shy in real life, even though this is real life. But y'all know what I mean. Oh, my hair is so soft. Okay, I'm so mad. I should have like racked up on these. Like, come on, 
can you send me some of these can, can y'all send me some more because i'm gonna need them Ugh. but i guess it is a protein treatment i don't need that many i'm not doing it as often as i would be deep conditioning my hair wow some of these assumptions are like really really spot on i thought they would be like off the wall but yeah i never do me like that y'all never be saying some crazy stuff like you got a secret baby <laughs> i don't know i be saying some people videos they be like so off the wall kind of stuff y'all really rock with me like y'all really know me for who you know for who i am y'all can really tell who i am i try to give you guys the real me i mean the as y'all can see i'm a real down to earth person i'm shy as hell i ain't gonna lie on that but you know i try to be really real with you guys next on the dock what's the next question you wait till the last minute to do stuff i am the biggest procrastinator i'm not gonna lie the biggest procrastinator I was supposed to film this video about four days ago and your girl just been chilling so because class had just ended and I'm not gonna lie I kind of been enjoying just being a bomb like not doing nothing so yeah this video was definitely supposed to go up about last week maybe I ain't gonna flex but yeah, I wasted the last minute to do things. I procrastinate. But this semester, your girl said she was doing things different. And I did. Let me tell y'all. So this semester, girl, when my professor gave me my syllabus, I wrote down everything in my plan. I got me a planner for the first time. Insane, right? I've never had a planner. But this year, I got me a planner. I said I didn't come to play. Girl, I did all my school work within like the first two months and did and everything was done and guess what your girl had this semester for her grades yes i wait and your girl had all a's this semester all a's my nigga all a's okay so I, can i say i'm not a procrastinator anymore officially or let me i mean i don't know i got i still got procrastination procrastinator tendencies how about that I still be procrastinating, I ain't gonna lie. I wait till the last minute. I'm always the last person to the point. The next assumption is, I assume you are a perfectionist. <laughs> I couldn't even say the whole word, cause I'm not a perfectionist. No, man, that is not me. I'm so far from being a perfectionist. Child, I'm not a perfectionist. It look good. Okay, girl. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Not a perfectionist. Hell, yeah, my room ain't even clean. <laughs> Y'all can't see it, but I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not gonna lie. I do have add some things in life. You know what? Mm -mm. I'm not a perfectionist. And I guess it depends on what we're talking about because some things, you know, you can't rush. You have to be a perfectionist when it comes to certain things. But just right off the bat, as a whole, I'm not a perfectionist whatsoever. That's not me. I'm shocked that y'all think that I am. Maybe you think that I'm perfectionist because it takes me so long to post on Instagram. But I'm going to do better. I don't know. I just... I was doing this thing where I was doing a theme and the picture just had to be right. Like, it's so stressful trying to put a theme for your Instagram. And it, it doesn't allow me to be consistent on Instagram. Therefore, I'm not doing that anymore. If my picture is cute, then it's going up going up that you've been a heart what that you've been hurt a few times i think they meant that i've been hurt a few times that's what i'm gonna go with i'm assuming that's what they mean 
<laughs> what? Hurt a few times. Why? I act like a hurt person. Why would you say that? Why y'all wanna be out of my business? Look, I ain't asked y'all. <laughs> I've been hurt, truly hurt, one time in my entire life. Like, as far as love hurt, I've been hurt to my core one time. One time, one time, one time. And I ain't even gonna get into all that. Cause that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day, honey. Cause I am happily married. And the past is the past. So, it don't even matter. But yeah, to answer your question, that's a... So I guess that assumption was technically wrong because it said you've been hurt a few times. And your girl only been hurt one time. One time, one time. But I ain't gonna lie, I was the person who was doing the hurting back in the day. I had this little whole phase that I went through and my karma, my karma caught up with me. It did, I'm not even gonna lie. It came and kicked my ass. So I, I mean, what could I do? I have messed over people. I had hurt people through the core. And it was just my time. My time. My number was up. It was my time. <laughs> so God let me have it. And I don't blame him. I was not I was a really great person back in the day. I was just, you know, everybody go through that phase, right? <laughs> everybody go through that little whole phase where they just I don't know. They just living their best life and they care about nobody else feelings but their own. That's what I went through and I do regret that. That was not nice to treat people that way. Next assumption says I assume that you're single. Why? How? I mean, I don't post my marriage, you know, like all over my social media, but is there is known so that's obviously a, a wrong assumption I'm not single and i ain't trying to mingle all right so don't try to be sliding in my dms ain't nobody in my dms anyway <laughs> they dry they crispy now your girl is happily married i've been married oh my god my anniversary is coming up my marriage anniversary is coming up on May 12th. On May 12th. Oh, time is flying. I bet y'all, did y'all know I was married? I don't know, I feel like I make that known. It's like one thing, you know, I mean, it's not a, it's not a secret. And I'm not one of those people who post pictures of their significant other and put emojis over their head that is so bizarre to me why post them at all if because you know it's going to irritate people because people are going to want to know who it is and then you're going to get mad when they start lurking and they figure out who your little boot thing is because i mean we're humans is we have a curious mind you know that's why adam and eve ate the apple you know Cause we were cute we're curious humans we're curious people so yeah i'm not one of those kind of people to do that i think that's so stupid if you don't want people in your business then don't post your business on social media this is stupid stupid but anyway <laughs> next assumption i assume that you are a sweetheart until someone does you dirty <laughs> that is true. I find like that's for most people. You know, you gotta give people the benefit of a doubt until they prove you wrong. And when you prove me wrong, sweet wear, sweet wear, honey. Like, no, cut, cut. I mean, but I don't, I don't have many friends anyway. No, you gotta keep your circle small because you can't be trusting everybody. You can't be letting everybody in your circle. Everybody ain't your friend. And that's what my daddy taught me. Because when I was little, I used to think everybody was my friend. I don't know because I'm a Libra. You know, and we mix well with everybody. So, you know, 
I thought everybody was my friend. No, she would never do that to me. She loved me. She my friend and my homegirl and my best friend. You know, a little old me, you know, naive and stupid. Naive and stupid. That's what I'm going to say. Was that even a question? <laughs> I assume that you are a sweetheart until someone says you dirty. I mean, yeah. I'm a very sweet person until you give me a reason not to be. And even then, I'm going to be nice nasty to you. I'm just going to be flat out mean and... Because that's not, that's not who I am. And it's, it's really hard for me to be mean because I'm a really sweet person, like I said. But like I, I'll be nice nasty. You will know you, when you burnt that bridge. You will know. You will definitely know. Next question. I need to put some glasses. I can't see. I assume that you make friends easily. Well, I actually already kind of touched on this because, like I said, I'm a really friendly person. How does that even make sense? I'm friendly, but yeah, I'm so shy. But yeah, no, I'm a really friendly person. I do make friends really, really easy, easily. So that's one of my downfalls. But. I try not to be so gullible to where I let anybody into my circle because like I was saying, everybody's not your friend. Sometimes people try to use you for they come up or, you know, to try to steal your energy or just make you look stupid sometimes. So everybody ain't your friend. So I make associates easily. I do make associates really, really easy. But... I've learned I know that I'm damn near 30 I've definitely learned that everybody's not my friend and that you know you just gotta be careful because these people ain't out here to see you win they're not at all I'm pretty sure most people, more people want to see you fail than see you win and that's messed up that the world is like that but I've been through a lot of stuff in my life and I had to learn the hard way. Definitely had to learn the hard way. My daddy tried to shield me from a lot of things growing up, but nah, I thought I was grown. I thought I knew everything. Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. He just don't want me to have no friends. Oh yeah, my parents, they, want, they wanted to meet all my friends. <laughs> When I was younger, they wanted to meet all of my friends. When I say all of them, they didn't need to meet my friends. They didn't even meet my friends' parents. They didn't see where they live, what their house looked like. My parents was not playing. They was not playing. So I feel like with them doing that, it definitely, like, when I tell you, I can judge people's character, like, so well. I can definitely judge a person's character and their vibe and their energy before you know I actually let them in my circle sometimes off of real I could be like oh no I never understood how people I'd be like how can you judge somebody before you get to know them but sometimes you know sometimes you know people are not there for you baby sometimes you just know all right what's the last question uh, I assume that you're short Huh, I mean, what's short? What's short? What's short? Because I feel like I'm average age. Average age. <laughs> I assume that I'm average height. I'm 5'5". Five five, and I feel like 5'5 five five is like average height for women, I believe. I don't know. I should Google that before I just be spitting out facts. <laughs> but I'm 5'5". Five five. I used to wish, oh my God, when I was little, I used to wish that I was taller all the time. And I thought I would be taller than what I am now because I used to... I was always, no matter, no matter what classroom I would step into, I was the tallest person in the classroom. Never failed. Like first grade, second grade, third grade. I was always the tallest person in my classroom. But I guess I started slowing down and I ain't the tallest no more. <laughs> Definitely not the tallest anymore. 
All right, I probably got another wash day in here, possibly. I didn't use too much. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But so far, I really like this. I have to say under the dryer, it's about 30 minutes. It's like 20 minutes, but I'm gonna do 30 minutes. I don't know if all the directions. Oh, excuse me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different. I never, I never do anything like this, I don't believe. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can part of notification. Gang, gang, girl, gang, gang. And gang, gang. Okay. <laughs> gang, gang. Period. So you better hit that notification bell. And so make sure you subscribe so you can be part of the family. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to go sit on the dryer. Old bit the boo. And I will see you guys in another one. Peace. Stay blessed.